Hello everyone, it is a strategy gamer back again with a new video. Uh, I'm gonna apologize in advance after setting up the um, uh, gameplay yes, uh, the last video. Um, I realized that when you play Iron Man mode, you can't save when you want to. And uh, I don't think I want to play pause and like go back potentially up to two weeks when I'm trying to teach you guys how to play. So I'm gonna start again. Iron Man mode off, still go focus is on, um, just so I can save and leave the game uh, when I want to. Um, I promise you guys I'm not going to cheat my way through this. I, if I lose this playthrough, I, I lose it. Um, but for the most part, I, I just want to be able to, you know, walk away and come back and be at the exact same point where if you play Iron Man, it automatically saves every two weeks for you, but you cannot, like, choose when those two weeks are. They just happen, so unless you're paying really close attention to that... Uh, you could miss it, and then, like, if I have to leave very quickly or suddenly, you have to backtrack, and I just don't want to do that. Um, so, uh, if you're wondering what I'm about to do, watch that first video. It actually teaches um, you all, what all my clicks are. I'm just setting this up as quickly as possible. Um, so we can jump right into actually going forward with the game. I remember, I think I wanted factories early. Uh, military factories early, so I'm just going to do that. Commandi. Ordini. Mm, he's a tank, guys. Let's get him All right, so uh, for those who watched my first video, you've kind of seen this before. I'm just setting up my front lines for the war that we have here. Um, it's not going to take too Pronto, long signore. to do. I'm just making sure that everything is where we want them, you know. Ordini. I shouldn't need this. Pronto all'azione. Pronto all'azione. All right, we're almost there. Okay, next we got planes. Which we have a few hanging around here. These 12 can just hang out for a bit. Multi factories. Let's get some more guns, some more support equipment. I do, I'm just keeping tanks just to make sure I have a slight amount of spare ones, but otherwise, I need fighters. Air support. Man, I forgot how much they start off with like trying to uh, build up a pretty crap navy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, navies are in a weird spot. I hope patch coming out soon, but essentially, um, just build cruisers. That's all you really need. Cruisers and I like I like my uh, um, aircraft carriers just because they're awesome. Um, they're floating airfields that you can move around. They take a lot of micro, but you'll live, honestly. But okay, I think that was everything I did before, so let's unpause time and let time do its thing. I also think I'm going to want a little bit of oil, so let's take that from uh, Romania. So essentially what I'm going to do is have two armies uh, swoop in and take out Ethiopia. Um, you can farm... Um, what am I not getting input from? Oh, people are already taken from... Okay. United States it is, just for the time being. Um, but essentially, you could farm army experience from this. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to be very aggressive. I think I want to... God, I'm probably even going to do France first and then go after the Balkans. Uh, France just so I can have all this land and ways to distract the British um, before I naval invade them. Um, in fact, I might have to start... As soon as I know I'm going to win this war, I will start my uh, justification on France. And I'm just kind of going to hopefully grind them down to nothing. Which means I need a little bit of rubber. Hmm... 
buy from Siam. And then trucks go down here, which why there's three. No, thank you. Let's get some fighters. Cool. Yeah, that should work. Artillery. Artillery would be important. I, I got a feeling about that one. So let's reduce this. Let's wait till we have a few more tanks in there just to make sure they don't. Uh, you know what? They're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Let's get the artillery going. There we go. Cool. All right. So time has started, and essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm waiting for all my um, all my people to arrive at the right spots. Um, I'm going to set this to 200. You can be down to 200 as well. You guys will eventually be 100. Split you in half. So bombers. Anything that's not a fighter should be in a, in a group of 100. Fighters should be in groups of 200. That's just because there's going to be so, many more, so much more of them. Um, let's move you down there. And then I can probably spot a few more. Uh, yeah. So I'll do something like this. I know this is like, if they're at max value, they're going to go over the total amount of... Uh, planes so we can store in the air airfield they're not going to get there the war should be over by then once you know everyone arrives or all of these together cool all right so we got 51 subs 80 destroyers 11 light cruisers eight heavy cruisers and two battleships uh this is a terrible navy um wow i forgot how bad theirs is uh so we'll separate all the uh subs into one thing and then Goodness, this is rough. Uh, the Navy's just going to kind of be bait and making sure I can put things across the sea. You guys anyway? Good. Because, um, so the, the British just have a much better Navy. So do the French. Um, so what I want to do, essentially, is I'm, I'm just going to use them to get temporary naval superiority after I take down France so that I can cross the uh, English Channel. Um, as quickly as possible and hopefully be able to take down the United Kingdom before they really get going. Um, so I'm going to be fighting two very aggressive wars early. The first one, of course, being France. Um, and I'm not going to have any allies for that. And then it'll be the United Kingdom. And then what I'll probably do after that is set up my own faction, wait for Germany to take on the Soviet Union, and take down the Soviets. Um, and slowly realize my Roman ambitions. Um, I want to essentially get this. I want to become Rome. Uh, so I need to take all of the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg. I need to take um, a lot of Africa, the Ottoman Empire, the Balkans, France, Spain, England. Uh, and I'm sure there's a few more around here. Um, but you, you can kind of see how it's all going. Uh, it's a lot, and that's okay. It just means a lot has to go right. And uh, one thing that's very important when it comes to a game of Cards of Iron, um, losing's okay. Uh, I cannot tell you how many campaigns I've lost and had to restart because I did, I made mistakes along the way, and I'm going to make mistakes in this campaign too. I'm not a perfect player, but I, I have quite a bit of game knowledge now. Um, so the big thing you got to understand is it's okay to fail. What's not okay is to think that the only way to play is succeeding. That's just unrealistic. This game has a learning curve, um, and if you think you've mastered the game, it'll, it, eventually another curveball is going to come your way, and you have to learn that again. And, you know, that's just part, part of it. All right, let's wait for these guys to get their orb back. Orb Atento. is essentially, um, you know, this uh, green line here compared to the orange, which is strength. And as soon as they're all, like, ready, organization is, is uh, basically their ability to fight in combat. Um, once that's all the way up, I'm going to start off with some small pushes. Um, I could do a full frontal attack, but I think I'd lose a lot of men. And I don't know, why would I pa practice uh, bad offensives? What I want to do is um, I want to Come get on. these guys ready, and then I'll gradually, gradually push them back here, then here, then here. And pushing all, back all these provinces till I'm at their capital. Uh, down here, I'm going to race forward with tanks and let the tanks just push them all the way to the mountains. And we'll slowly squeeze them in on the capital where it'll be a bit more of a brutal fight there. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about 
missing any plane. Oh, I forgot these guys. Okay. So there are, these guys are still going. They're, everyone's ready. It's just now like waiting for all these troops Pronto. to arrive. So with the Navy, so we have two battleships, and battleships are great for ground pounding, and that's about it. They're like, you know, really tough ships to sink, but they sink, just as just like a destroyer does. And once they're sunk, they're no more useful than a sunk destroyer. Um, we got light cruisers and heavy cruisers, and heavy cruisers are small battleships, light cruisers are big destroyers. Um, light, cruisers also, light cruisers also have like more options to build on their ship. We'll get into that later. Um, if I end up taking down the United Kingdom, at that point I might start really investing in a navy because who knows? Maybe I can go knocking on the United States because I'll have, you know, land here, land here, and here. And, you know, those are some pretty nice naval bases for basing operations. Um, or maybe I'll pick a fight with Japan, who has a really good navy. They just lack the resources to fully, you know, support. It. All right, I think we're ready. So what we're gonna do here is uh, let me pause. Pronto, I'm gonna signore. send these guys Pronto, all into battle here. So I select them with left Pronto, click, signore. and I right click there. I'm Attento. also going to support them with two more divisions like that. And all that does is widen the front line so more divisions can fit into that battle. Can unpause. And look at that. They're all in the battle. They're actually in a little bit of room to spare. Um, looks like these guys are well entrenched, but they still don't have a very good value. And then finally the planes are coming in, which are giving us a pretty solid bo boost. Looks like we're already winning. Um, it might take us about a week to push through that there, but We'll be fine. Next up, we got the tanks who will split themselves up here, and we'll probably attack both these provinces at once. Why? Because tanks are just that much better than infantry. They're also more expensive, and I prefer to invest all of that in, instead of tanks into uh, planes, because planes do more. But let's take a look. So yeah, we're buying about 2.8 strength per day. And they are gradually taking damage. Well, so are we. Not nearly at the level they are. Tanks are still moving to position. So you'll notice it's a little bit slow. It's small front lines, small focus battles. But I, I believe in small little pushes that grind the enemy down. If an offensive takes you know a, little, a couple more weeks than it should because of that, so be it. I still will win the war. Um, if I'm all out attacking, I might end up spreading myself out to the point where I can't push anymore, and then I'm just wasting manpower and equipment, and that's just foolish. All right, they've already lost one division in there. He has retreated to another province. He might be back, but he'll be back weaker than before. And now, let's see, 15, 14, yep, they're still dropping, and look at that damage. It's Planes are important, people. They're really important. I, I am a plane stan. They are awesome. All right, so now that these guys are ready, roughly ready, let's uh, let them go in there. So you guys will attack there, and you guys will attack there, and I know they're gonna win that one, so I'm not worried about this one. So I'm gonna tell them to push forward to there. Why there? Because there, there is a uh, supply port there. Oh, sorry, I, uh, Shoot, what's it called? Supply hub, my bad. Um, and that can, securing those just gives me the option to move my front up farther. Um, that's just where supply comes from. Okay, so we got that. Pronto, easy signore. peasy. So now I'm gonna attack both of them like this. For us to win this battle. All right, Comandi. and then what I'm gonna do is like this. And because they attacked and Avanzate. failed, they're pretty weak. I think I can push forward with these five alone without expanding the front lines. But I will expand these front lines here using Pronto, these divisions signore. just to make sure that we win there as well. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's going great. We are now bombing seven um, strength per day. That's awesome. These guys are just gradually wearing down. They're not going to be able to slow down. This might be where we just roll back the line all the way to the capital. Um, a good player will have a defensive line where if they're getting pushed back like this, they will say, okay, fall back here and get time to entrench. And entrenchment, especially on defense, is so important just because it gives you some really strong buffs. If you're getting constantly pushed back like as a Soviet Union, you need to find some, like a 
river line to entrench behind. I, these guys are pulling through, and I think I'll do this. I'll tell a couple of them go down that way. Si, signore. And a couple others do it on that way. Nope. Avanzate. That way. Yeah. Now, why would I do that? Well, I want I want to cut off anyone who retreats this way, and these guys before they retreat that way. I don't think I will, though, because they're losing too fast. How are we looking down here? Pronto, signore. You guys keep pushing. Avanzate. And you guys can start attacking there. Let's take a look at the damage charts. We have lost 197 men to their 8,000. Yeah, we're, th this war is not going to take long. All right, you guys push there already. Let's take three of you. Push right there. The other two. We'll be able to push this there. there we go. Attento. Now they just activated last stand. So what does that mean? It means they will stop losing org but they'll take extra strength damage. I love it when AI takes last stand because they don't fully understand it. If their strength hits zero during last stand, that's the same as being encircled and destroyed or overran. That division's gone. It doesn't come back. You have to uh, build a new one from scratch. Look at this. Like it's uh, These guys are just bleeding so quickly. Pronto, signore. Let's keep you guys moving this way. Comandi. I think it was you guys, yeah, so I might just go straight for the capital. So what am I doing here? I'm just telling different divisions to micro in. I'm, I'm microing, which I'm just tell, I'm sp telling each specific division where to go and what to do. Why am I doing that? Because um, I want to outflank and outmaneuver the enemy. Let's take a look at these strength. Yeah, look at that. Uh, the, their divisions are just bleeding right now. Look at, look, look at that, 14%, 37%, 41%, 42%. They just don't have Ordini. power to keep fighting. Uh, these guys here are now starting Pronto, to get trash. I'm a little worried about that. Where's the next? Uh, there is no more supply base, so that's unfortunate. We might just want to connect the lines, which we will in a sec, and then once we have change over the rail line, we can turn the change in motorization which motorization level is essentially hey are we just going to use horses to drag supply everywhere or are we going to start using trucks to make sure that we can support everyone I, uh, that's why I build trucks for the most part so that I can support my supply hubs um, and make sure that all my divisions are equipped we'll see it, but it, well, long story short um, supply hubs um, motorized at a higher level essentially means hey um we can supply people farther away how much more it's not saying all right these guys still fighting here but yeah they're just they're melting away slowly but surely you'll notice that we still have not taken many more casualties that is a okay i love that these guys still pushing up there and now there's a whole new um, airbase, but it's not going to have much supply, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, the button I just pressed, more ground crews, um, that just increases the overall effectiveness, or the, it gives a 10% efficiency boost. So these guys will be 10% more efficient. It's kind of nice. Formazione. Comandi. All right, tell more divisions specifically what to do. Now this battle here might take a sec, and that's just because it's at their capital. Um, it's where they have the best supply, and it's in the mountains, and mountains are tough to push through. Now, I'm trying to add tanks in, but we'll see. They may not have the supply to do it till we get the, this guy transferred over, which I wish it'd tell me how long. I know there's a way. It's usually like a week after you capture. There we go. Okay. How many uh, trucks do I need? I think I'll have enough. So 40 for that one. Should be 80 for this one. Yeah, I have plenty of trucks. So now these guys are going to be fully equipped. The, they're going to have all the fuel they need, all the replacement parts no they need. Fermatevi. It's, yeah, th this war is over March 8th. That's my guess right now. But let's take a look. Ordini. So these guys are holding up for a while. Good for them. We've now lost 339 men to their 15k, so again, th that's a good sign your war is going well, not the only sign. Um, you know, if you're the Soviets, you can lose three to four times the men that the Germans lose during Bar Barbarossa and still win. And that's just because your manpower base is massive. 
right, this they think another eight days. We'll see about that. Um, yep, still going, still still doing damage. That's the that's the good news. And there's only one division as of now, but they may get that one in there. Right, good, another province tanking. We're just slowly pushing them, pushing them back. Pronto. When I go to war with the UK, assuming it's to that point, um, I'll probably put down 20-some divisions against this line here and just make them crap divisions and another 10 here against those. And it's not because I want to actually hold this. It's because I want to drag more of their army down here and force them to fight me down here. Um, the more empty I can leave their the island, the easier they will be to take if I can land my troops there. Oh, already won. Uh, troops are pushing in now. Formazione. They're in, and it's going to be exactly March 8th that this war will end. Watch. I'll speed this up a little bit. Oh, oh no, I'm wrong. What? They have exactly 20. What am I not? Oh, I have to take Gondar. I'm off by a day. Two days. There it is. All right. And we'll just, uh, no, we're not gonna pop it. We're just gonna take you straight over. Cool. And that's the end of the first war. So, what, did, what just happened? Well, in the two full months since the game began, um, plus a few days, uh, we have moved more troops over to Africa. We uh, set up tanks in the south, and we set up mountaineers in the north. And the Mountaineers broke through the north um, with a little bit of difficulty, but not too many casualties taken. In fact, we took a total of 822 in that campaign. Uh, but in the south, our tanks pushed directly through, no problems whatsoever, right up to uh, the mountains. And from there, it was a bit more of a slog, but with the help of air superiority, we were able to take the capital. And once we took enough victory points, we had won the war. So what is next? I forgot to... Justify a war against France. Well, next what we're going to do is we're going to spend 235 days preparing for war with France. And that's going to be exciting. That's going to be fun. So what? how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to send these 12 divisions right down here. You guys are not necessarily going to be that important. But... What I'd like to do is have you guys hold out si, against signore. the French while these guys here prepare for the actual hard fight of pushing through France. What I'm going to need is air security here. I'm going to just need to hold them back there. My divisions down here, just take that out. And that should be all the front lines I have them. And what I want to do in an ideal world is I'd like to grind them and push them all the way back to Paris. France starts with some massive, massive debuffs, and so it shouldn't be that hard of a fight, but we'll see. Um, I think I have more planes than they do. Let's take a look. So they have 468 planes, 844. I have 735, so actually roughly this equal amount. So we're going to need to uh, step that up. Let's move all these planes here. And I know it's a few months before the war starts, but it's it's going to be okay. All right, finish that. Let's get some more factories up and, and running, actually. Or we could do Triumph in Africa. What's that? Ooh, that's a pretty nice buff to a lot. I think, yeah, I would take Triumph in Africa. Industrial effort, industrial effort, and then we'll see where we're at. Because at that point, the war should have started. Let's see, how are we looking for good on rubber? Awesome. Which means that our uh, plane should be not the fastest speed, but, you know, they're doing what they can. All right, it's been a while since I've seen those. I'm not going to ban the trees. I'm not trying to raise world tension. Um, what really gets these countries going is uh, if I start to, if we raise world tension enough, they start mobilizing. And that's the last thing we want. So the hope is that we will 
space out a wars just enough that we won't raise world tension to a ridiculous amount that these guys can mobilize and start guaranteeing each other. Um, and hopefully Germany and um, Japan don't raise it either. But if I can get France, that adds to the front line, makes it forces essentially Britain to put more troops in Africa, which I don't care about Africa. My hope is if I can take France, I will be able to put my navy here, grab just like a week's worth of naval superiority, blitz across the English Channel, land, and take out the everything essential in uh, southern England and slowly push up north. And if I can do that, I win the war really quickly. Ooh. Um... I think I'm going to want more artillery by the end of it. Yeah. What kind of resources does France have again? They have a lot of aluminum and a lot of steel, but no tungsten. That will be come from Spain, who I will eventually go after. Um, but yeah, so with all these front lines in Africa, I'm hoping the AI thinks, oh, we have to put troops there to fight the Italians. Which they do. They do. Um, but it just leads less troops here and so I can send 20 divisions divisions over very quickly um, then send the rest of my divisions that I can afford over there and knock them out early and at that point before even Germany has gone up and running I am now the superpower of Europe and I am ready to take on any challenge after that so while all that is getting going I'm just going to make sure everything is up and running the way I want to be So far, it does seem to be looking good. These divisions are, again, just here to hang Ordini. out um, and distract. I could even probably remove a few of them, but I'm not too worried about Pronto. it. Anymore. What I also might do is take these guys. It might be super risky, but I think I'm going to send them for a quick naval invasion down here. Now, why? What I'd like to do is pull French troops off the border um, so I can make a push forward all right I'm also as I just finished electrical and mechanical engineering so I want to pick up mechanical computing um, that just gives me faster research speed and research speed is important in the long run all right so we just finished a, another light cruiser very good how about you guys? Alright, let's get some troops trained up, some really crappy ones, just to hold some fronts elsewhere. It says uh, I'm low on equipment. I'll ha I should have that back. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, that's that. I've been 70 days, so let's get 12 divisions up. We should get these right. Uh, what am I doing here? Um, recruit and deploy. So these are uh, essentially the different places I can send guns to and like all my equipment. There's reinforcements. This is always high priority. Just flat out. Highest priority unless um, you need to spend like a month giving new troops a lot of uh, material so you can deploy them where you need them. Um, upgrades, I unless you have a very small professional army, this should be the lowest. Um, that's just like, hey, if you get better equipment, let's send them to the front lines instead of developing new troops supply trucks so this is a once again this is more of a um, how we supply our troops via motor, motorization um, I find this incredibly important um, so I always have it the highest operations I'm not gonna have any spies so I don't care and garrisons I want to make sure that my the places I conquer such as Ethiopia I can keep and not have her vaults there. So right now I actually don't have the guns for them, so let's modify this. So what, what is this, occupied territories? Um, I prefer like local police force or secret police, probably local police force, I'm not too worried about, but this is just so that their resistance, which is how much they dislike me and how likely they are to blow up some stuff, to just lower it a little bit, um, enough that I don't have to worry about it but not enough that takes a huge amount of my industry to keep them in check. All right. The, all right, so these guys are all in position. This is going to be the riskiest move of the war, launching the naval invasion here, but if it works out, they will pull troops off this border, 
allowing me to push forward with my air superiority, grind them down, and maybe if I'm if I'm really lucky, I could do a quick um, a quick burst to the north and take all the way up to like Dijon and Besco. Beshen Khan. I'm sorry, I'm deeply American. I'm going to mispronounce these. Um, and widen the front enough that all of a sudden my cast really does make a difference in the individual battles. Cast being close air support. Uh, I am also going to need to pick up some of these guys here. What I'll probably pick up first is. God, these are terrible. Oh my goodness. Maybe I don't pick these guys up. I, mean, I guess I could pick up these guys right here. Um, uh, yeah, this is bad. Oh, my. <sighs> okay. Okay, so maybe I don't pick those up. Maybe I start down here. Oh, my God, this can't be real. Oh, I forgot how bad Italy is. Okay. Um, Triumph and Africa. Uh, stability, war supporter up. Cool. Let's get... Uh, what? What the heck? Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll probably get this guy in there. Uh, I'm gonna have a... Ooh, ooh, now there's something nice. But I don't... I, I usually pick these up to get army experience. But I will come back for tactical bombing because that's a huge bonus to ground support. Get you at 200. You guys can merge. There we go. You should be at 100. You guys can merge. Let's have 200 and split you. Good. Let's, all right, so I just finished uh, basic machine tools. I almost always go straight into concentrated in industry. Uh, concentrated industry versus dispersed industry. Um, all dispersed industry does is reduce your factory bomb vulnerability. I am not going to get strategic bombed. Just, it's just not going to happen. The AI, the AI just chooses not to do it. If you're facing a player, that's more of a question. Uh, but if I'm not at risk for being strategically bombed, concentrated industry is the way to go. Um, it just gives you max factories, um, better output. It's great. It's just great. All right, how's our war justification going? We will be ready by October 31st. Awesome. That gives us plenty of time to train the troops. Plenty of time to make sure all these guys si, are ready. But any you guys, eh, I'm not too worried about you. Just yeah, okay, so at least the army's ready to go. Um, does anyone guarantee France? Nope. They just guarantee other people. So they guarantee the others, but they're not ready to fight, to be guaranteed by others. So that's huge. Um, because now they have a much, much greatly reduced. Um, Surrender limit. And so I don't need to take as much as their country to win the war. Although, again, I I would love to rush straight for Paris. But that's that's a long fight. So what I might do is, you know, take these guys, push them off, and then exploit a gap that way. Um, let's get more fighters out there. Um, yeah, so what I, wa I really want to do is just take as much as I, as I just need to to knock them out of the war. And the sooner that's done, the happier I'll be. It might, after I after I conquer them, be worth getting an intelligence agency, but it's definitely not worth it right now. You know, it's a lot of times I'm just aimlessly clicking. That's just to make sure that I, everything is doing what I want it to be doing. Probably looking on fires, close air support. <sighs> Gonna need some more. These guys already started Grand Battle Plan. That's okay. Oh, let's upgrade this guy. Give him Charismatic. Um, so you'll see these two at the bottom. Organization first isn't as important. It just there's other ways to get a reinforce rate, right? speed, um, support companies. Those all work. Charismatic though. That that's how fast your divisions recover their organization. That's that's nice. But you should always take that one when you can. They have no one down here. If they're not going to put anyone down here, I'm definitely going to move these guys up here to uh, reinforce this line. And I might put them to the north side of it so they can help push that way. 
or they might be an army to reinforce down here. I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to want to see how the initial stage of that landing invasion goes, so I might... Nah, I think I put them to the north. If I can train more divisions, I will. The big other thing about Italy is that they just have a really small manpower like percentage. Just I mean, their overall population is forty one million. That's that's small. That's hard to put to like conquer the world with, but still doable. Especially if you get to realize Roman ambitions. That's fine. Modify Officer Corps. I'm going to save it for now. Um, I forgot how bad base Hearts of Iron's um, research and production. All, all these concerns, all these designers are just so bad. They're just bad all around. That would be nice. So uh, with a 10% on him, 4% here. That's a 14% recovery rate bonus. That means that they get back into the fight a lot better, a lot faster, after uh, losing their org. That might be worth it. Whereas this guy gets non-combat um, out supply penalties, which isn't bad either, considering where we might be fighting late in the war. I don't know yet. This is tough. That's also really good. This is all not very good. Ooh, finally got my fighter ones. Awesome. And concentrated industry. Awesome. Um, let's get radio. Radio is look at that reinforce rate five percent instead of two percent. It's awesome. And then go on around with these. Let's get that. Well, let's make sure our at least keep our uh, country modern, our army modern to the best of our abilities. All right, 10 divisions, awesome. You guys will be replacing these guys here. You guys will be going up north. So, attack. so what they're gonna do is hopefully attack this province and just blitz right through to Lyon. And at that point, I'll split them up going north and uh, west. And the hope is I'll just take the heartland of France there. Formazione. Pronto all'azione. Add a few more divisions since I have time. You guys will need uh all right, so we need three divisions at least there. And these are all shit crap divisions. That's okay. Alright, so now I'm going down industrial effort, and then I'll get a research slot, which should be huge. I would love to go all the way down here. Um, just because it's extra oil, I can just save a little bit there, you know. Um, but I think I'll uh, go on claims uh, on Yugoslavia later. But I also really want to take Italy first. Um because Pact Steel puts me in the axis, and that's fine, but Italy first means I don't have to, uh, I don't have to join Germany, and I get a free, fa uh, free focus to go after the UK. I could, you know, do this, go after France as well, instead of justifying, but that's just going to take too long, and I really think France is weak enough early, I can just go to them early. Alright, so we need 50 more days till guns. How long do I have? I've got 80. So they'll be there just in time. Awesome. Attento. Cool, cool. Give you guys a front line, not because they're going to attack, but because they're there to at least hold them back. They put their tanks here. Now that's a move. Oh, that is great. That means they're not going to be over here, as far as we can tell. What's France? France's army size. That doesn't tell me much. I'm going to go with they don't really have that large of an army. They also just have, you know, less factories than me. They have a lot of civilian, don't get me wrong, but they have less military factories. Like, any war that takes longer than three months, they're going to be in trouble. Um, my, my big hope is that they just don't join the Allies mid-war or anything like that. 
pan up into the navel tree. That's okay with me. They will keep everyone else distracted. All right, back up to 100. I think I will now take tactical bombing, and then I'll take army regrouping and army morale after that. That allows my army experience to keep going up, but it also just makes everyone a little bit better at performance. So if anything I could add to you guys, could I give everyone some support artillery? Yeah, that, that should be filled up by the time the war starts. How many am I making a day? 1.7? Oh yeah, that'll be filled up pretty quickly. So now everyone should have a little bit more of an oomph to them with that uh, support army. 56 days, perfect. Yep, so still fine. That's what we like to see. Okay, um, these guys here don't get that. Um, you can also have two different types of these looking divisions. So this guy is better in trench and has support artillery. Well, these guys are just dudes with guns. They'll be fine. I'm not worried about them. Alright, they're protecting Djibouti. Who's Booty? Um, I'm not worried about that. Like, again, I was hoping that I'd, I'd pull more troops down here, honestly. But I think they're keeping an eye here. Like, hey, most of their army's here, so we should put most of ours there. Which makes sense, unfortunately. How's these guys looking? Good. Getting more fighters, getting more bombers. Yeah, I think we have a chance to make this work. It's been a while since I've done Italy, so I, I don't know for sure. Um, all right, we're approaching about a month away from the start of the war. Let's move all of these guys here. And I'm gonna link these guys. No, what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, I'm basically gonna make I'm going to make a uh, scouting force and then an engaging force. And I'm just going to hope my engagement force doesn't immediately die. There is absolutely no promise that will work. Alright, so what we're doing is putting every ship into one large force except for these 42. These are just going to be what scout for the enemy. And I'm going to put them right there. I'm going to need a few divisions right there, too. Shoot. I still have plenty there. Where are you guys at? You're almost there. Yeah, so this is going to be an early war, and I'm just hoping that the sheer mass of my army is enough to drive the French off the border and eventually roll them back to the point where they surrender early. Um, Spain's in a civil war, I don't have to worry about them. Um, even after the civil war, they're pretty weak, so I can get them after I took down the UK, which will probably start a world war with the United States finally being pulled in, but at that point I will have, you know, almost half a continent to myself. I'm not going to be too worried about the United States just laying troops and D-Daying me early. As the game goes on, they'll, you know, exponentially, exponentially increase in strength, but... So will I, if I, especially if I can get to that realize Roman ambitions and take all of this. Um, so after UK, it'd be probably Yugoslavia. Uh, I'll take up Albania along the way. Um, I'll probably take Greece as well. I hope I don't need... Do I have to just take... Oh, I, have to I have to control it. All right, I'll have to take down Bulgaria. I'll have to take down... Turkey, I'll take down Iraq, I'll have to take down Switzerland, Portugal. Yeah, this is a uh, this is gonna be brutal, but I think I can do it. Do I have to take down Iraq? That's the big question. Kurdistan, Tabritz, Kuzikia. I probably said that wrong, and I'm sorry if that's offensive. I'm not seeing that on here but we'll see we'll see all right army regrouping is ready it is now october 2nd we are quickly approaching day i will probably at the end of this focus here end my video and on the next one you can catch how the war against france will go um but it's uh I'm not 100% confident 
confidence it's going to work out, but we shall see. Oh, don't fall sick right before a war. That's just kind of a dick. Right Alright, let's get those factories assigned. Probably gonna need to buy just a little more rubber. Shoot, can't do it from you guys. Gosh, the British get all the good stuff. Ha, huh. Benito, 1936, IRL. Portugal's uh, seeks to purchase Italian ships. You know, I'll let you purchase some Italian ships so I can get an extra factory. That's what we like. All right, let's get the uh, research slot going. How are you guys looking? Yeah, you're getting there. How long do I got? 20 days, roughly. How long do you guys need? Yeah, how much to the point? So I just deployed these guys early. What does that mean? It means that their overall training is a little weaker than what you'd hope for, but that's okay. Ordini. Um, because they're just going to be fighting defensively in a large area that doesn't need to be overly defended. I also just signed two divisions here. Actually, what I might do is something like this. Yeah. And just give them a front line here. Another factory. Eventually, I'm going to uh, move all these divisions... Um, into a better the better template but for now they're just here to hold the line and distract the french that's all i need them to do are you guys looking good planes are slowly getting there we're not building that many that fast but it's okay none of these will be done by the time the war kicks off and that's okay too um oh yeah that that research slot, uh, the uh, national focus I did. So with that, guys, I'm going to end my video for, for now, but I'll be back soon with a, uh, another video um, with the war in France. Um, if you like this style of content and you have any questions, concerns, or just want to chat, leave a comment, uh, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great one, guys.